Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shazib, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Sologenic and Corium, the new financial frontiers. It's going to be an interesting video, guys, so make sure to stay tuned and watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff, then uh, subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon, so do check that out as well. Now, without further ado, let us begin first and more... First and foremost with the prices of both Korean and Sologenic at the time of the recording. So guys, Sologenic is down 1.87% for the day. Uh, it has broken a daily support line over here, 0 0.1426. Uh, the price is 0 0.1406 at the moment. Let us look at the seven-day chart. So yeah, mm, let us look at the monthly to see where it is. Okay, so yeah, it has come down 22.20%. Since the time it went all the way from 0 0.15 uh, approximately to 0 0.19 dollars. Guys, uh, Sologenic basically is uh, attracted to this zone over here, 0 0.18, 0 .uh, 0 0.18, 0 0.19. It goes up, comes back down. It is attracted towards this zone over here for a, for a long time now. Uh, I won't be surprised if it comes back up here to... Uh, eventually eventually break out because if you look at uh, the all-time chart guys Sologenic is extremely extremely undervalued and especially for what it is doing guys uh, tokenizing stocks shares and all of that stuff guys trillions of dollars di disruption and uh, almost 100 percent in circulation with burns here and there and uh, the market cap is only 556 million so it can it has the room to grow obviously and uh, let us look at Corium guys Corium is uh, down 6.85 percent for the day 0 0.1554 if we look at the seven day chart guys it is down 31.48 percent if we look at the yearly let me show you a key level over here uh, if you look at this small small uh, support over here 0 0.1498 this is a crucial line uh, of support 0 0.14 0 0.15 because if you look at the all-time chart as well these are the levels guys i'm talking about 0 0.14 0 0.15 here there is a, there would be a massive buying pressure in my opinion uh, but yeah anything can happen this is crypto if it breaks that then we would be looking at 0 0.13 levels but i think that it might rebound from these levels 0 0.14 0 0.15 Let's see what happens. Not financial advice, obviously. And Corium is also a sixty dollar uh, million dollar market cap at the moment with the current circulation. So undervalued, guys. Undervalued for what they are doing. Let me show you why, guys. I found two great posts of both Sologenic and Corium. Recent posts, latest posts. So let me share with you guys. This is the official X handle of Sologenic. Transforming commodities, tokenized real world assets on so, uh, Sologenic. Let us look at this. Uh, let us skim through this, guys. Transforming commodities, a new frontier in asset trading. You have to read this in details yourselves. I'm just going to be skimming through this to let you know what Sologenic has been up to and what it aims to do. So check this out. There are a lot of traditional ash assets, uh, guys, that uh, Sologenic aims to uh tokenize the commodities market has experienced remarkable growth with its cross trading margin soaring from dollar 30 billion in 2018 to a projected dollar 131 billion by 2024 so talking about commodities market or so talking about sh sh uh, shares market we're going to be talking about that that uh, what big of a market uh, sologenic aims to disrupt uh, the landscape is evolving with the new wave of tokenization. The approach uh, democratizes the commodity investments by lowering these entry barriers, allowing fractional ownership and simplifying access through user-friendly digital platforms like Sologenic. So you guys know that uh, in the illiquid assets, it is, a it is tough to basically be a part of. So Sologenic aims to uh, curb these entry barriers. 
products uh, and uh, provide real world use case rwa to digital use cases so check out the markets that uh, uh, that uh, sologenic aims to disrupt guys tokenized commodities are making an impact uh, for instance go oil guys <laughs> oil tokens retain the intrinsic value of oil but also enhances its liquidity and broaders broadens investor access opening up the historically complex oil market so basically digitalizing oil agri agricultural commodities tokenization of agricultural commodities like coffee and cocoa are being introduced creating new opportunities for trading these assets on secure blockchain platforms precious metals guys Precious metals are also being uh, becoming a part of uh, the digital landscape. Digitizing physical gold into blockchain tokens are providing more straightforward access to this traditional investment. So, guys, uh, Sologenic aims to basically bring them to their their uh, platform, but it isn't easy. But if anyone can do it, it is project like uh, regulated project like Sologenic. Now, check these uh, check this out. The challenges of tokenized commodities. There are regulatory hurdles there are standardization issues security concerns complexity in value assessment so basically the value of digital tokens is intrinsically linked to their physical counterparts adding a layer of complexity so it is also a risk that needs to be mitigated when uh, tokenizing these uh, uh, all of these commodities and assets offering a secure trading platform but sologenic has the solutions offering a secure trading platform navigating regulatory compliance simplifying the investment process guys so that is awesome that is awesome uh, these are trillions of dollars of market we're talking about and uh, this is Sologenic and uh, Sologenic basically uh, uh, another layer one was uh, basically uh, developed by the Sologenic team known as Quorium guys to enhance Sologenic's uh, use case and it is not merely a layer one guys it is one of the best layer ones in the few out there and it has immense potential for the future as well Quorium guys it is ISO 2022 compatible and we're going to be uh, checking out why it can be big uh, and uh, it is offering smart tokens tokens that have intrinsic smart contract enabled so it is doing a lot of stuff guys enterprise grade blockchain so this is another piece that i saw this is recent january 19 this is bob ras the ceo and founder of both sologenic and Corium. this is a really interesting read as well guys go through this yourselves it is talking about the ISO 2022 standards and uh, how black blockchain will basically transform the financial sector. A really good read, January 18th. So let me show you guys, just skim through this. A blockchain calibrated for enterprise. So what basically uh, Corium aims to do is it is basically uh, optimized for enterprises, for these huge financial players, guys check this out and uh, the standards that these financial institutions are using at the moment you know uh, is iso 2022 uh, and uh, Corium guys is uh, iso 2022 compliant so it is providing that uh, standard that the uh, that the modern financial system needs guys so what it is for, for, so what it does is guys uh, it provides interoperability and standardization ISO 2022 already serves as a global standard for financial messaging. By incorporating it into blockchain protocols, we can achieve a new level of interoperability. So this is what Corium is doing, allowing different blockchain networks to seamlessly communi communicate and share data. So it is blockchain agnostic. It is working with multiple blockchains at the same time. It has enhanced security. Blockchain's cryptographic security features complement ISO 2022's robust messaging standards. The decentralized nature of blockchain significantly reduces the risk of single points of failure and cyber attacks. Uh, again, uh, Corium is doing this. Real-time settlements. Traditional financial systems often face delays in settlement due to reliance on intermediary institutions, but combination of ISO 2022 and blockchain enables near instantaneous settlement of transactions. Awesome. Cost reduction, the automation and efficiency gained through the integration of ISO 2022 and blockchain can result in substantial cost savings for financial institutions. 
Uh, so uh, it provides efficiency, it provides cost cuts that the enterprise require, guys. Uh, Corium is doing all of this and it is keeping the regulations and compliance in the backdrop. Improved transparency, blockchains transparent and decentralized nature enhances visibility into financial transactions. This is obvious. So the financial inclusion, guys, this is the best part. Now that the uh, that uh, I, uh, Corium is uh, ISO 20022 uh, compatible, it is basically uh, going inside that financial landscape with ease. Uh, by 2025, you guys know this messaging standard is going to be the but the, the only standard out there for payments for these financial institutions for all, for all of these enterprises, these big players. So I have said time and again that uh, being a, uh, ISO 2022 compliant doesn't necessarily mean automatically that you are primed for success, but it gives you a really significant competitive edge because the uh, the standards that you are abiding by are top notch. They are the, the uh, they are they are global standards, and all of the mega players are abiding by these standards. And Corium being uh, ISO 2022 compliant. Uh, 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 targeting enterprises, targeting financial institutions, being uh, uh, abiding the rules, the regulations, uh, and being compliant. Guys, it is, uh, in my opinion, it is primed for success at only a $60 million market cap at the moment, disrupting trillions along with Sologenic. These, uh, have, both of them have the potential to become the new frontiers. So uh, this is this has been written by Bob Rass, and you guys know that he's both the uh, he's co-founder of both Sologenic and Corium. So this is awesome. Uh, what do you guys think about Sologenic and Corium, guys? Where where do you think this they would be in the next uh, let's suppose uh, two to three years and beyond? What do you guys think? Uh, do hit the comment box below and let the community know. Uh, because I truly believe that both of these are, have immense potential, but not financial advice, obviously. Anyways, guys, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification icon as well if you're interested in utility coins and uh, potential gems. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out as well. Like I always say at the end, until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone.